uh, they should be developed. So how they should be developed? That's uh, that's that's the question which we now try to develop. The first thing which we have to say. What is Buddhi? Um, Buddhi is the ability uh, to look, uh, impartially look at ourselves, more or less. To look from the external point of view. That's another explanation of what Buddhi is. Buddhi means that you're looking at yourself not from within but from outside. You're observing yourself. The first point of Buddhi, how, how you can see who has the strong Buddhi or who not, is this uh, introspection. This is the ability for introspection. When we look uh, at ourselves and we analyze, there is some self-analysis is going on and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, this is extremely important ability which we should not uh, underestimate. Sometimes we, uh, we encounter some people, you know, and you know these people are lying. But you cannot somehow rather get through this. There is some self-deception mechanism and they are so strong that people, you know that people are acting, but you, you will not be able to explain this to them because they are uh, deprived of this ability to respect. The first point of developing Buddha is to observe ourselves. This ability to observe Ourselves and others is very important. In fact, this is the first command of Krishna in Bhagavad Gita. What is the first command of Krishna in Bhagavad Gita? What does he say to Arjun? Look, just behold. Just behold. Pasya. He says, look, observe. <laughs> and in one sense, Krishna represents this intelligence. He puts this chariot of Arjuna uh, you know, in front of the army and he says, look, look, uh, have a look what is going on. This observation of uh, this ability for introspection of self-analysis is an extremely important function of our Buddha. And this is exactly what animals don't have. Animals have don't have this ability to look what is going inside, what is going outside. There is this very emotional exchange which is going on in animal, in humanistic life. Therefore, this is the first point. This observation or analysis of what is going on is extremely important. Therefore, it is said that one of the important rules for brahmacharis is that brahmacharis should travel. Why should they travel? Because in this way, they can observe. They can see different varieties of life. Srila Prabhupada writes about this in a story of, uh, of uh, Narada Muni. When Narada Muni went on uh, his uh, traveling, he said that you know, uh, all, all the sadhus, they, they always travel. They, all, they should see all these varieties of life and observe and see that uh, all this is going on. This is all the same old story. And nothing so, <clears throat> this is the first point, this observation which we should develop, the ability to observe. <clears throat> Very impartially, observe, uh, first of all, ourselves. This is the <clears throat> important uh, aspect of our life. And not to be too engrossed into the situation, always have this uh, neutral point of view uh, where we can analyze what is really going on. So the next thing is very important, <coughs> which I want to say. And this next thing is coming 
Roman from the verse of the same chapter, of the same third chapter of Bhagavad Gita, which is also somewhat surprising. This is the this is the thirty third verse of Bhagavad Gita. But Krishna says we all know this verse perhaps. Sadrisham Chestates Fasya Prakite Yanavanati Prakritim Yanti Bhutani Nigrahap Kim Karishet. Krishna says Nigrahap Kim Karishet. What does it mean? What does it mean? Refreshment. What refreshment can accomplish? So I'm coming to a very important part of, uh, of this description. Nigraham Kim Karishati. What repression can accomplish? He says that every every living being is under the control of their nature, he says. <laughs> All the living beings are under the control of the sinful nature which uh, which we have. Who has the sinful nature? No problem. Let us expect. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Those who don't have sinful nature, they're not here. So they have nothing to do with this. One. So, uh, and Krishna, he supposedly, it's a very important thing. The, the next point, first point is to observe. First I said, first point is to observe. The next point is coming from the explanation of this verse. You know, if, and some people are very encouraged by this verse. Nidraham in Karishet, what can I do to repress my It's a very encouraging statement. Okay? Basically, you can finish Bhagavad Gita on this statement. Go, go home. No problem. <laughs> Nothing you can accomplish by repressing. Right? But uh, it is beautifully explained by Baladev Vidyabhushan. And this point is not so clear in Prabhupada's explanation. I don't know why, but uh, I didn't think why. But it's very interestingly explained by Baladev Vidyabhushan. And from this explanation, from his explanation, comes the next point of developing intelligence, developing real intelligence. He says, yes, we have sinful nature. The sinful nature basically means previous samskaras. And previous samskaras push us, uh, push us in a certain direction, and we are slaves of this uh, uh, of, of this situation. But he's, and and he says, Nidraham Kim Karishati, you cannot really fight with the sinful nature unless unless and this is the next point: how you can fight with this? Do you have any idea how you can fight with this? This is the first point. In, in the development uh, of our, in the real development of our body, uh, he says that you cannot fight with it unless you associate with sadhus. <coughs> when Krishna says this, uh, and Baladevidya Krishna explains, even if you know scripture, if you know this is good, this is bad, it doesn't work. It does not work until the point when you meet with sadhus. And Baladevi Rebushan, he quotes a beautiful verse from 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Atoduk sanga utsrijya satsut sajjata budiman. You know, if you have intelligence, uh, you have to give up duk sanga, uh, the bad association. Santa evasya chinmanti mano vyak sanga mukhidi. This is the most important. It is said in this verse that Santa, the saintly persons, what they do, Eva Asya Chindanti. Chindanti, what it means Chindanti? Cut. They cut. Santa Evasya Chindanti Manovya Sangha Kukiti. By their words, 